Hello everyone, welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I am Julie Fletcher and Anna and I were taking our daily walk today so she could do her grazing and we thought we would multitask and do her her intro to her the past week of being on the farm and what we were doing around here. Her personality is coming out and she is shining, shining through. She's actually getting a sparkle back in her eye and she's doing so much better. So uh, Saturday marked three weeks of her being here on the farm after being rescued from slaughter and being extremely underweight. As you can see, she's putting on a little bit more weight and um, she doesn't seem to be limping on that back leg anymore like she was when she first got here. The swelling in her right leg has gone down and as you can see her her lump under here is just just about gone. It's it's pretty little but the vet thinks that that was from her milk sacs drying up so I apologize for not getting this video out sooner too. I've been under the weather so I apologize for my voice. <clears throat> but Anna is doing really well. Charlie is teaching her all his bad habits. <laughs> he usually paws at the gate when he wants breakfast or lunch or dinner or whatever it is and he's taught Anna how to do that as well. So I was actually to cap I was able to capture that on video so I'll include that in here as well. We got her some lick tubs so that's pretty exciting so she's got some extra minerals now in her diet too. She's up to almost five pounds of alpha pro per day so she started out at two and we've been slowly increasing that increasing her alpha pro intake so um super excited that she's able to start eating more alpha pro we've been taking her on walks every single day to get her some exercise and she's she's a lot more active in her pen as well so we're really glad that she's on the road to recovery and that she's adapting and uh, she's actually talking to the other horses. She, Charlie talks and then she'll talk and it's pretty funny to see that in the barn, but I haven't been able to catch that on video yet, but her personality is coming out every single day and we're really excited that she's, she's doing so well and, and thriving. So when she gets a little bit more strength, we'll get the farrier out here to take care of her feet and then she'll be, she'll be in really, really good shape. We got the flail mower in that goes on the tractor, so that was pretty exciting. Yes, it was. I know. Did you show me your lick tub on your nose? Yeah, we have lick tub on our nose. But the flail came in for the John Deere, so Corey was actually able to flail everything, so I didn't have to mow, so that saved me some time. <laughs> I've been very busy around the farm, very busy. We've got some projects coming up and some things happening towards the end of this week. So we're excited that to share that pretty soon as well. It was a little difficult to film this video while she was grazing, so we were on the move again. She still has a little bit of swelling in that back left leg, but definitely not like it was when she first got here. And she's definitely not limping on that leg like she was either. So that's, that's very good. And she's putting weight on it too. She wasn't putting weight on that back leg. So that was pretty concerning as well, but she's definitely putting weight on that leg now. And that's a step in the right direction. It's so funny to watch her sift through the grass to see what, what she wants to eat and what she doesn't want to eat. She picks weird spots. I don't know why. I mean, the whole pasture over there is all green that we, I try to get her to walk in and she wants to stay right here where all the grass is pretty much already eaten and picked over and, <laughs> and dead. But this is the stuff that she wants. So we're going to stay here and we're going to eat what we want to eat. <laughs> But I'm going to get Charlie's uh, grazing muzzle video out that towards probably towards the end of this week. Um, hopefully before the weekend I'll get that edited and, and posted for you all to see. Um, Charlie's doing well also and so are all the other horses. Everyone's doing great. So we had a cold snap. It was probably about 55 degrees here yesterday morning so it was a little bit chilly and we got the cow glow installed in the chicken coop so I'll be putting out um, a video about the cow glow and what those actually are and why we're using those so I'll have a video on that 
I was really surprised actually in her before and after picture and how far she's actually come. I had a friend over uh, last weekend and she said that she looks like she had gained weight. And I mean, obviously, since I see her every day, I, I haven't really noticed the change until I put the before and after picture together. So we're really glad at her progress and that she's coming along so well and in such a short period of time. So we have high, high hopes for her. So um, just wanted to give you a little bit of an update and share some of Anna's week with y'all and some pictures I got of her. She's doing, she's just doing well and her sparkle's finally coming back out in her eyes. So we're excited about that and uh, can't wait to get her integrated with the other horses. Obviously that's going to be a little bit of a ways away um, just because she needs some more strength before we can actually turn her out with the rest of the animals. So, um, but she's doing great and just wanted to share an update with you and thank you again so much for watching. We truly appreciate your support and thank you everyone that sent uh, gifts of Alpha Pro. We truly appreciate that as well. The, the support is, is just overwhelming and we really can't thank you enough. We finally got a manger moved into Anna's stall so she doesn't have to eat off the ground. So we put her Alpha Pro in here in the big, big tub. And then she's got her hay over there so she doesn't have to eat it off the ground and then she won't waste as much. We're out grazing with Anna again. And everyone's coming over to see her. Aunt Kara's visiting today too. So tomorrow marks three weeks since Anna's been here. Sorry I'm gonna stay off camera today because I am battling horrible allergies and <clears throat> can't really breathe, so. I'm gonna stay off camera because you definitely don't want to see what I look like. But tomorrow marks three weeks for Anna to be here. And we're just so happy with the, her progress and the way she's coming along. She's eating like a champ. We've been taking our long three hour walk still. And as you can see, she's starting to fill out. You can't see her ribs as much. Her spine and her hips are still, still pronounced, but getting much better. The swelling in her legs is going down and it looks like her milk bags are drying up. And her lump that was near her teeth is now in the middle, but <clears throat> excuse me, Dr. Wagner said that that was just part of the process of her milk bags drying up. And since it isn't getting bigger, it's not really a concern. The picture on the top was from Anna's arrival day when she got here back on August 20th. And then the picture on the bottom is from the 9th, which was just the other day. And she's just come so far in such a short period of time. We still have a long way to go, but really excited at how far she's come along. This is the top of Anna's back looking down her spine. Wanted to include this just to show you how skinny she really is and how, how much her hips are sunken in. We're working on that and we're going to get her back to full strength. Anna's new thing is walking me right through one of the trees that's next to the chicken coop. Apparently she thinks this is funny because she continues to do it and I keep falling for it. And we're going through the tree. Oh boy. I don't know why you do that every time. <laughs> Ow! Anna! <laughs> That didn't work out so well. No. <laughs> You're not supposed to walk through the tree. This is what I see every single morning when I walk into the barn for breakfast. All the horses waiting and pawing and kicking up dirt waiting for breakfast. What did you say? Huff, huff, huff. Yeah, what are you doing? Are you ready for dinners? That's Aline, and Charlie's gonna walk through the door here in a second, but this is usually what Charlie does when he wants dinner and it's not being served in a timely manner. Yep, we kicked the gate. I wanted to see what Anna was doing while I was feeding the other horses, so I set up this camera to see what she was doing just right in front of her stall. She's actually pretty funny. She's pretty active and wants to see what's going on. 
I really thought she was friends with the goat, but you'll see here in a second that she's uh, not really a fan of the goat. <laughs> And this is where she's picked up on Charlie's bad habits of kicking the gate. She's so smart, she realized that I was done feeding Aline and Cammie and she knew that she was next, so that's why she was talking. So just gave Anna some lake tub. We had a partial one that the other horses were eating and I just don't want her to have too much all at once. So it just gave her a partial lick tub and she's trying to bite it. <laughs> you gotta lick it. Yeah, you gotta lick it. Yeah, lick. Call the lick tub. Yeah, lick tub. This was from our walk the other day. She's so much more alert and her ears are up and she's just perkier and just feeling much better, I think, finally, and realizing that she doesn't have to work anymore and that she can relax. So that's really exciting for us to be able to give her that type of life. These were the pictures I was referring to that I took this week from our walks. She's just such a beautiful girl, and her personality is shining through, and we just love to see it. This one looks like she's almost smiling. And we just love that she's so alert now and getting stronger every day. And we're just so thankful to have her here on the farm and grateful that she's healthy. This was Anna's Week in Review. We hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. We truly appreciate all of your support. And stay tuned for more updates on Anna and the rest of the horses on the farm. Thanks again for watching.